Greetings, Dennis Daniels here. This is a quick tutorial on how to use Paint.net. One of the key things to keep in mind while you're using Paint.net or any kind of uh, imaging application is that you can drag and drop images from one to another. So the first thing you need to do is minimize. Oh, look at that. We've got a new version. Go ahead and install. While that installs, we'll pause for station identification. So it wants me to reinstall or close. So while it reloads, we'll wait again. OK, paint.net is reinstalled. I'm running 2.61 now. So let's go ahead. And key idea here is that you can shrink your devices so that, or your interface so that you can have an application on one side. You can have an application on one side and a folder on another side. So let's go take a look at a folder. And I'm looking specifically at a bunch of photos here. I'm looking for International Day. And let's see what we have inside. Generally, if you're looking at thumbnail view, you're going to experience serious lag in redraw, especially if it's coming off of a network drive. Why? Because all of that takes time to refresh. This is a very heavy, uh, CPU intensive uh, aspect of computing. Whenever you have to refresh a screen, it's going to take some time. So, what I want to show you here is how easy it is to click and drag an image. Now, and most important thing to keep in mind is that your images should come in as layers. The idea of a layer is like a sandwich. You're building a photo sandwich, meaning every every step or every image on your canvas, this is your canvas, has its own layer. See this? There's a layer here and there's a background layer there. So we're going to drag another image on top of that guy. We're going to import it as a new layer. Click OK. Now, the principles of that are pretty simple. We should have one, two, three layers. We'll have a background layer, we'll have this gentleman here, and then we'll have another image of the building, of a building. So now that we've dragged our images in, you can see that there are marching ants around the outside. I have my tools open, I have my layers open, and I can close my tools by F using F5, turn on my history using F6, turn on my layers with F7, and turn on my colors with F8. So go ahead and turn on all of your tools by hitting F5, F6, F7, F8. You should have four little windows after you're done with that. Four little windows. Please do that now. Ladies and gentlemen, this, the idea with splitting screen is easy. You click on the middle icon. Click on the middle icon on the right hand side. You will, or, right or left hand side, you'll have a handle. Please do this as opposed to chatting with your friends. If you have questions and you ask them, please pay attention to the answers. Thank you very much. Pick and drag on the edge of your application so that it expands left and right. Now that we've split our screen, let's go ahead and take a look at how we can manipulate some of the images. You have one, two, three, technically three images. The background layer is blank, but it's still considered an image. <coughs> so, uh, Control D to, dis, uh, to disable the, the marching ants. Control A to re-enable them. Control A, Control D. At this time, please put two images onto your canvas. Thank you. Now we have two images, two layers. You can see them here, two images, two layers. Now the first layer, the mo layer on the top, is the one we see. If we now the other image, because it's the same size, the same size appears. And what I would do is I'm going to activate this gentleman here. I hit the M key and it changes my tools. Watch the M tool, or watch the tools over on the left hand side. I hit the M, t the M key. Cycling my two images when go the whole thing ready for drawing. When I hit the other it was marching it with the boot, means I can shrink it down. Should have there. Oh, I was on the wrong layer. Sorry. Critical problem. Control it again. The right layer. And I squeeze it. And you can see now. Uh, you can see the background and the other, uh, the other image. Please do that now. Practice by squeezing, by setting, and selecting the layer and shrinking the photo. Thank you. Okay, now that we've practiced moving the image around by using the selected move selected pixels versus the uh, move selection, there's a difference there. See how it goes blue? 
That means you're just moving the selected area. It doesn't mean you're moving the image. Control Z, Control Z, Control Z, Control Z to undo. Now, if you want to delete a picture, Control D to deselect. You want to delete the entire image. You just hit the, um, the X in the Layers button and it will delete it. Or turn off that layer and it goes away. If you're practicing, if you're testing ideas in terms of what it looks like, then that would be the way to go. Now, the next step we're going to do is we're going to turn off everything you don't need to see. We're going to zoom in, control, -G uh, control K to zoom in. Control K to zoom, oh, control K, control K to zoom in a little bit. And now we're going to select this gentleman here. And we're going to use the lasso key. The lasso key. Go ahead, click on what looks to be kind of a curly, a curly lasso-like thing. It's directly below the marching ant selection tool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw around this guy and see how that blue is moving as I go around him. I want you to select an object in one of your pictures and select just a face or a head as best as you can at this time. Now, I recognize it's not the most accurate tool. Paint.net does not have a pen tool. If any of you are familiar with Photoshop, you don't have the pen tool, so you don't have busier, uh, busier lines, but that's okay. Please do that. Select an object using the lasso tool. Now that we've selected our object, of course we want to be able to move the object. So let's go ahead. I hit the M key to select that one piece. Control C. Now I'm going to create a new layer. Control V to paste in. To paste in that new layer. Control V. Ooh, it didn't work. Why? Because I selected him and not the object around him. So let's Control Z that. Control Z, Control Z. There he is. Now Control. Uh, let's control I. Oh, I have to be on the right layer. Thank you. Control I. Cancel. Control I. And that will deselect everything around him. There we go. Now watch. When I hit control I, he goes blue. Control I, everything else around him goes blue. He goes blue. Control I, everything else around him goes blue. So let's, um, Let's delete that and see what happens. Everything around him is now deleted. See that? Control Z. Try everything around the object that you just selected. You need a combination of the Control I key and, and the Delete key. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, one more time. We have the object in the object we want is now uh, with the marching ants around it. Control I to select everything around him. Hit the delete key. Oh, and he's gone. We don't want that. So we control Z. Now we control I. Select everything around him again. Now we hit and everything around him goes goodbye. Please try that again so that you have just the uh, target object highlighted, selected, and then crop everything around, uh, delete everything around him. Now we have our target. Now we have our back on our background and turn on our image. What we're going to do is we're going to make this gentleman appear like he's rising over the top of the building, like he is he is looking over the building. He can see everything. He is our security guard protecting us from the forces of evil. So here is our here is our security guard. We select his layer. We select his layer. Control A. Uh, because he's too big, he's a little large for us. Let's go grab the hand. Layers on this image. Let me show you how I do that. Turn off that layer. I'm going to turn him. I have to see him. And using the space bar, I'm going to move the picture into the middle. Oh, sorry, it's already at the bottom corner. Drag that down. Turn off the colors. I don't need that. Don't need the history either. Now, going to use my uh, lasso key again. I'm going to split the image. Control D to turn it off. And let's control J to zoom in. Control K rather. Control K, Control K to zoom in. Zoom down. Now I'm going to split the image right here. 
Now the lasso key is really primitive. Again, you'd want to use the pen tool if you are using a proper, um, if you're using a proper uh, application. <clears throat> we have a new layer, and I'll show you how to get him, or how to get our security guard there. Please select part of your image so that you can slide another image on top of it. Okay, in the interest of sanity, we will uh, we'll hold off on doing that part of the tutorial until you've had more practice working with the uh, working with the various tools. At this time, what I'd like you to do is put together as many images as you can.